Hi, everyone. Hi, almost ready. Hey, hello, how are you? Doing fine. Okay. What about you? Uh, I really, really tired. Tired. Because, yeah, because I wake up early and I spend drive all day and walk too. <laughs> okay, I imagine. Yes, driving can be tiring. If we all drive for long hours, that's tiring. Yeah, yeah. I drive to to Suyapango to Cuatepecas, like. Okay. And, and I make on and I, I have a problem. How can I use and make in which in what situation I can use make or do, for example, an activity. So if it is, uh -huh. if it, is it, it depends what kind of activity. For example, if you do like, for example, homework is do, but if that activity is like uh, something that you can touch or see like pupusas, you're gonna make pupusas, you know? The difference that is that one. Okay, okay. Oh, it depends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today I make um, several activities in the field because I my work is about some pests in the crops. So. Uh, so what I, do you do? Okay. What activities you do at work? Uh, uh, I my activity is principal in the field because I am agronomist. Oh, okay, so, I understand. Uh, yeah, um, is the principal is the surveillance pest. Okay, yeah, that can be tiring. Yeah. And what about <laughs> the rest of you? How was your day? I can I hear the other participants today. <laughs> no, I I. I I think uh, they are in mute. I, I don't know if you are shy. You feel shy? You don't want to speak <laughs> today? <laughs> Maria, how was your yes. day? It was a heavy very day. Busy. Very busy. Very busy. Yeah. Okay. And what do you do? Um, I in in a factory. Oh, you in, work in a factory? Yeah. And I I make uh, clothes. Clothes? Clothes, yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, um, right now, is the, uh, we are making uniform of um, doctors. Oh, doctors doctor uniforms. Nurses. Yeah. All right, Dr. Unifer, such as lab coats. Nice work. Yes. <laughs> yes. See so the scrubs nice. for nurses as well? Yes. Uh, is it in a popa? No. no. It's in Santana. Santana. Santana City. <laughs> yes. Mm. Nice. I know about a factory for uniforms, but it is in a popa. So, but but yes, yeah, that's that. interesting. I, I wanted to learn how to sew clothes or make clothes. I, I want to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And so, I, uh, in, my, in my home, I make uh, bags, bags uh, plastic bags, too, but in my home. So I have two works. Oh, two jobs. All right. Yeah. So you're a very busy woman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I hope that you have had a, a nice day. I, I know that, yes, it's kind of 
uh, tired because most of you have a job and most of you have to travel, go in the traffic, etc. But uh, yes, the day is almost done and then maybe we can rest in the weekend. Yes. Okay. So uh, thank you for being on time here. Um, I sent the presentation a couple of minutes ago. And yesterday uh, we were matching the questions with the answers, you remember? This is what we were doing yesterday. We matched the questions to the answers, uh, but uh, we didn't discuss the exercise, right? Do you have the answers? Uh, you remember the answers that you had? I that. remember mm -hmm. uh, the one. Uh, the one question is. Number one, letter E. Okay, B. so that's B. correct. Question number one is what's so like? And the answer, is it an interesting place? And the answer says, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Mm -hmm. So for number two, what do you have? What was the answer for number two? Letter D. Letter D, let's check. Exact, that is correct, a letter D. Do you like your hometown? Why or why not? And the answer is D, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Good, number three, what was the answer? Letter E. Letter I. Hmm. Letter A, yes, number three, letter A. What's Sydney like? I've never been there. Oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Good, what was the answer for number four? Letter B. Letter B, let's see. Yes, that is correct. Four is letter B. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? And I said, yes, I have. It's extremely a large crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. And finally, number five, what was the answer? Letter C. That is correct, letter C. Letter C. Yeah. What's the weather C. like in Chicago? It's really nice in the summer, but it's too cold for me in the winter. So now, what are your impressions about this exercise? Was it difficult? Was it easy? Or is there something that you would like to ask about this? More or less. More or less. What was something okay. difficult for you? ¿Qué se le dificultó acá? ¿O oh, estuvo súper fácil? ¿Lo sienten que hay algo que está haciendo falta? How do you feel? Everything easy? Yeah, I, I have a... I don't know what how they say, but it's a uh, sentences because you told 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 us yesterday when the when the questions is uh, begin with W H <clears throat> questions um, don't answer or we must to answer with information yeah with the information. With the other uh, with the other question we can answer with yes or not is mm -hmm. really yeah <clears throat> okay 
Let me give you one example. I'm gonna stop sharing uh, so I can give you a couple of examples. So in English, there are two types of questions. All the tenses in simple present, in present perfect, in simple past, you will see two types of questions. Once they're called yes, no questions, or you can provide a short answer with them. Let me give you one example. Okay, so we have some questions here. Aquí tenemos algunas preguntas. La primera, are you busy? ¿Qué tipo de pregunta es? ¿Será una yes, no question o es una information question? Yes, no question. question. Yes, no. Yes, no question. No. Yes, no question. Yes, no question. Yes, no. Are you busy? ¿Cómo contestaríamos? Yes, no are you busy? Yes, yes, yes. Or, or not. Ajá, podemos yes. contestar yes. Si la respuesta es yes, solo es yes, o como only yes? Mm. Yes, I am. Ok, Bus. yes, I Bus. am. Bus. Uh -huh. Bus. Yes, I am. No podemos contestar con das. Ya les voy a decir. Um... Ok, voy a agregar una más por lo que acabo de escuchar. Ok, do you like horror movies? ¿Qué tipo de pregunta es? ¿Es una yes or es una WH information question? Is information yes question. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes or no question. Do you yes like horror no. movies? Yes, yes, yes I, I like uh, uh, yeah? horror movies. Yeah. Yes, I like. Yes, I do. I Think. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. What kind of movies do you like? Is a yes no question or is information question? Information. It's information, information question. question. Information question. Quiere decir que no puedo okay. contestar con yes, verdad? O con no. Me está preguntando yes. qué tipo de qué tipo de movies de películas te gustan. What kind of movies do you like? Entonces ahí no podemos decir yes. yes. Or no, what kind of movie do you like? Yeah. No. <laughs> so you, you provide like, that information. Uh, action movie. Uh -huh. example. So you say, I like. I like. Action. Uh, action movies, movie. For example. So the next question, was your sister a good student? Is it a yes no question or is it information question? Was your question. Information. 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 Yes, information. Yes, no. Information. No. There's no question. Yes, no question. Yes, no question. ¿Qué le están preguntando? ¿Era tu hermana una buena estudiante? ¿Era ella una buena yes. estudiante? Mm -hmm. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. Yes. yes. Yes, yeah, she was. was. Now, where did you go yesterday? ¿Es this una information or es una yes, no? Information. Information question. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where did you go yesterday? ¿A dónde fuiste? No puedo decir yes. ¿A dónde fuiste? Sí. <laughs> ¿A dónde fuiste? No. I went to the park. Oh, okay. I you went. give information. I went. I went to the park. To the park. To the park. To the park. I went to the park. I went to the park. Now, have you tried sushi? What kind of question is this? 
Is it a yes no question or information question? Yes, yes no. Yes. Yes, yes no. no. Yes, no. ¿Y cómo contestaremos a esto? Have you tried sushi? Yes, no, I, I have. have. Oh, no, I yes, haven't. I have. Yes, I have. Yes, ok. Ok, now, con estos ejemplos le voy a dar dos tips. La primera es que las yes, no question puede ser que comiencen con el auxiliar o con, en este caso, el verbo to be. Este verbo be, este es el auxiliar. Eh, Verbo bien pasado. Eh, este es un auxiliar. Así comienza la yes, no question. Con el auxiliar. O en el caso del verbo be, ¿verdad? Um, is, are, ya sea en el tiempo que sea. Entonces, así comienza la yes, no question. Ahora, las information questions empiezan con este tipo de palabras. What? Where? ¿Otras que ustedes recuerden? Who, which, which, when, why, when, when uh, how, uh -huh. ajá, hermana, pero no lo respondo. Who, who, uh -huh. ajá. <laughs> so, entonces esas son las que en las que vamos a dar información. Ahora, al momento de responder, con lo que escuché. Aquí, acuérdense, el otro tip es, si la pregunta es con el verbo to be, am, is, are, contestamos con el verbo to be, am, is, are. Si la pregunta es el auxiliar do o does, con ese mismo auxiliar se contesta. Si ven aquí, la pregunta era con el have, se contesta con have. Eso es con la yes, no questions. That's today's tip. Was it useful? Yes, a nice tip. Nice tip. Okay. Nice to hear Excuse that. Me, teacher, mm -hmm. eh, what means try? Ah, la pregunta del sushi. Have you tried uh -huh. sushi? El try significa muchas. Bueno, try es intentar, tratar, y también lo podemos utilizar para preguntar, ¿has probado tal cosa? Okay. En ese, entonces esa era, has probado sushi. Have you tried sushi? But mm -hmm. we can use um, taste in this case. Taste yes. Mm -hmm. eh, es pues, como le decía, ¿verdad? Probar, eh, ya sea alguna comida o alguna mm -hmm. cosa. Eh, intentar. Mm -hmm. Hacer algún intento o probar como comidas, como el caso de la pregunta que hicimos ahorita. Any other question? So, um, conjunctions. We are going to study today conjunctions. We're going to watch the video and then we're going to discuss if there are any questions or if we need to um, more examples. Hi, nice to see you again. This time we'll talk about conjunctions. We'll talk about and, but, though, and however. After the explanation, we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. For example, the city's ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction AND. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before AND? That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction BUT. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the middle of a sentence, and a comma 
goes before the conjunction as well. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean, but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He's really good looking. He's not nice, however. Can you write one sentence using though and another one using and? Do it in our discussion box. You may follow our examples as a guide. Okay, questions about the video? Was it clear? Yes. Yes, it is clear. Um, what's mean the word thou? Do. Do means aunque. Aunque. Daniel, you have a question? Uh, the same question. Like oh, you had the same question. Okay. Any other question? Yeah, uh, the other word, whoever. However, when the they other... mean the same. Mm -hmm. It's a something figures like sin embargo. Mm -hmm. Sin embargo, y do se puede traducir como aunque. Alejandra, do you have a question? Yes, and um, why do is used in the final of the sentence? Though and however, they are used at the end of the sentence. That's the, they cannot be placed in another uh, position. Any other question? Is there any other question? So remember what is in the video, the end is to connect two ideas or to add information. And you need to place a comma before the conjunction and. And this is the same with but. But is to connect uh, two ideas, one positive with a negative. And also there is near a comma before the conjunction. In all the cases, in the four cases, the only difference is the meaning um, and the placement, okay? And in bed goes at the middle, though and however must go at the end. Alejandra, do you have a question? No, no. Okay, viene la manita y me salió el pop-up message, so I thought you had another question. Okay, so uh, let's, um, I don't know if it's, it's clear, really clear, and if not, you, you can tell me. It's really, really clear. Daniel? Yeah, uh, Flor, it's not clear for me when you talk if whoever the end of sentence i'm not clear for me okay nice question so though and however have the same meaning so it's like um though es aunque y however sin embargo entonces el, el significado básicamente es el mismo it's, it's pretty similar es para eh, conectar Eh, dos ideas, una positiva y una negativa. Entonces estamos diciendo, ok, it's a big city. It's not too big, though. Ok, está diciendo, en las dos está diciendo lo mismo. Si se fijan, las dos oraciones que están de ejemplo. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. So, sin embargo, en aunque el significado es básicamente el mismo. 
le dan el mismo sentido a la oración. Estamos conectando una idea positiva con una negativa. Estamos diciendo, sí, es una ciudad grande, pero no demasiado grande. Sin embargo, o aunque no demasiado grande. Entonces, el significado es el mismo. Las oraciones que se ven son las mismas y el significado no está alterado. Son dos conjunctions que podemos utilizar eh, ya sea una o la otra y nos sirven para como evitar repeticiones cuando estamos hablando o haciendo un párrafo y necesitamos hacer como contraste de ideas, podemos auxiliarnos de do y de however para no utilizar la misma y evitar repeticiones. Así que el significado es el mismo. Eduardo. Eh, pero ¿cuál sería la diferencia de usar however o do? Y no hay both. diferencia. La eh, diferencia, ok. Porque, ejemplo, en, sería, sería similar las ideas, creería. Sí, la idea es similar. La diferencia, aparte de dónde van colocadas, es que el... Um, ah, por favor, eh, conéctense siempre porque me sale alguien con el nombre de Galaxy que está levantando la mano. Entonces, sí, tiene que estar con el nombre. Acuérdense por el registro de asistencia. Ok, volviendo al punto, do y however, ellos son para conectar una idea positiva con una negativa. La diferencia al usar but es que el but da una connotación negativa. Negativa totalmente, es como un contraste. Ok, entonces el do y el however son, aparte de ser más formales, son más suaves. Es como, ok, um, So I can say, um, bueno, es la misma oración, pero en el do y el however es como más suave el contraste, como no, no me importa mucho. Pero si uso but, sí es fuerte el contraste, es como, pero ahí sí, sí, ahí sí la regamos, ¿verdad? Ahí sí no, ¿ok? Es como but es más fuerte, el contraste negativo. En cambio, do y however, el contraste negativo es más suave. No sé si le ayudé con la explicación. Yes, teacher. Thanks. Ok. Y en, Ana, dígame. Eh, teacher, eh, si me queda claro, eh, eh, digamos, el uso, pero quisiera entender, o sea, si es un, te o si es un tema gramatical, porque va al final y, y digamos, cuando quizás nosotros aquí en, en, en español, las con, con este tipo de palabras siempre van uniendo dos, dos palabras y aquí en este caso va al final. Es, es totalmente por eh, el hecho de que acuérdense que en inglés las cosas no funcionan como en español y de hecho, bueno, hay que quizás ejercitar para irnos como quitando la costumbre, ¿verdad? De tratar de traducir todo al español porque eso, como ya lo dijimos, gramatical, la regla gramatical dice van al final. Pero nosotros la regla no es que vayan al final. Entonces las reglas gramaticales son distintas. ¿Ok? Entonces al igual que hay gente que dice es que en inglés todo se dice al revés. No, no es realmente que todo sea al revés. Sino que son las... Eh, déjenme agarrar el texto que se me ha perdido el lapicito. Aquí está. Ok. Por ejemplo, cuando estamos hablando de nouns. Ayer hablábamos de nouns. ¿Qué dijimos? Que un noun es cualquier cosa. Ok, so decíamos un noun puede ser uh, chaqueta, jacket. Uy, no está escribiendo, ¿qué le pasa? Bueno, jacket. Ok, en español le decimos chaqueta. Ok, ahora uh, decir chaqueta quizás se me viene una idea muy general en la cabeza y necesito describirla, necesito hacer algo especial. ¿Qué la describe? Mm, puede ser el color, lo que hablábamos ayer, los adjetivos son los que describen, ¿verdad? O tal vez pueda ser uh, la, el tamaño. El tamaño. Uh, so podemos decir a small jacket, una, una chaqueta pequeña. Pequeña. Ok. Uy, perdón. Las mayúsculas que hacen ahí. Pequeña. Ok, chaqueta pequeña. Entonces, en español primero decimos el noun y después el adjetivo. Pero en inglés el adjetivo 
va antes que el noun. So, siempre que estemos describiendo algo, el adjetivo va a ir primero. A small jacket. So, y ahí es donde encontramos ese y por qué es que no entiendo. Y a veces eso es lo que nos bloquea. El estar siempre queriendo llevar al español cuando son dos idiomas diferentes, cada uno con sus reglas gramaticales. Entonces ahí sí no... So, simple es que la regla es así, vea. En inglés, esas conjunctions, do, however, van a ir al final. Si es an y but, van a ir en el medio de la oración. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No more questions? No more questions. Okay. No more. So we can continue then with this exercise and we're going to do it here in the main section. Lo vamos a hacer aquí. Eh, lo pueden hacer en sus cuadernos o si tienen el material impreso, pues lo pueden hacer ahí. What is this about? Is to choose the correct conjunction and rewrite the sentence. What am I doing here? I, I have an and I have but. Let's see what is the sentence. Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. What is the correct conjunction to be used here? And or but? And. And, and correct, and. because I am connecting two and. ideas. Uh -huh. I am connecting information and, and connecting two uh, similar or ideas, two positive ideas. So the correct conjunction is and. So we write Taipei is very nice and Everyone is extremely friendly. Remember to add the comma before the conjunction. And let's work in the rest. Let's work at number two, three, four, and five. I'll give you four minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, finished. Have you finished? Yes. A volunteer for number two, you can raise your hand, the virtual hand. I'm volunteer. Okay. Uh, number two, I think is so. Can you read the complete sentence? The streets are crowded, so it's easy to get around. Mm, uh, yes, that is the correct conjunction, but remember that the goes at the end. Very good, mm. Vicente. You have the number three. Me, teacher. The weather is nice and summers get pretty hot, however. Yes, the weather is nice. Summer gets pretty hot, however. Okay, very good. Now, Vicente, do you have the number four? I see you raise hand. You can unmute your phone, the, your microphone. Está en mute, Vicente. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, Vicente. Mm -hmm. Number four. Number four. Shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the market. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Very good. Daniel, do you okay. have number five? Well, in my opinion, I think this, the answer is N. Shopping is great. And... Uh, no, mm. the number five. Oh, the number five. Okay. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing city. And I love to go there. Excellent. That is correct. So I see that everybody did a very good job with this topic so we can say that is clear <laughs> any question about this is everything okay everything no. is okay okay so we can continue so now that we have this clear let me share the screen again and we'll go over to this exercise in the presentation, we already did it. Okay, this is the one that we already finished. And uh, after that, so you say, using the and but, you asked this question before. So uh, there's a little bit more information about this. So remember that 
though her performance was good, she did not win the first prizes. Or she did not win the first prize, though her performance was good. So uh, note that though it's and its close can come either before or after the main close. Eso es cuando estamos uniendo dos cláusulas. Eh, cuando estamos uniendo dos oraciones, eh, pueden ver que do puede ir antes o después de la cláusula principal. La principal es la que no necesita nada más para tener significado por sí sola. Entonces, en ese caso, puede que sí vean que do puede va a introducir una oración y no al final de ella. Eh, but... Eh, Dice que no, no, no se usa para iniciar una oración con but. So that can be another difference uh, when you are using do and but. And to continue uh, with this, so we have another exercise to use N for additional information. Remember, for example, the food is delicious and it's not expensive. So we're going, uh, we're using N to give additional information or uh, put ideas together. Uh, we use but, though, and however for contrasting information. For example, the food is delicious, but it's very expensive. Another example, the food is delicious, it's expensive though, or it's expensive however. And here we have a similar exercise to the one that we did previously. So let's check together. Number one says, spring in my city is pretty nice. It gets extremely hot in summer. But. A, a yes, a but. So it's a but. contrasting idea. So the correct conjunction here is but for number one. Now let's read number two. There are some great museums. They are always crowded and are however. 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 Yeah, however. Mm -hmm. Now number three, there are a lot of interesting stories Many of them are expensive. But, 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 yes. mm. but. Uh, are, and, aren't, and, and aren't expensive. Okay. Por qué usaríamos and? There is no negative sentence. Uh -huh. No, 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 so no, 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 there are no negative ideas here. So there is no contrast. No hay contraste, no hay una idea negativa. Entonces, no. por eso, yes, la correcta es N. Good, excellent answer. So then let's see the number four. It says there are many amazing restaurants. Some but, are closed but, in August. Yes. But, but, but some are closed in August. Negative. Yes. But. Now, my city is a great place to visit. Don't come in summer. But. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. But don't come in summer. Yeah, because it's a stronger. Uh, it's much fuerte, but. Yeah, than the. Excellent. All right. After this, we have a listening exercise. It is my hometown. So we're going to listen to Joyce and Nicholas talk about their hometowns and check what they say about their um, hometowns. But before that, let me uh, check attendance because, yes, I think it's a good time to do so. <laughs> Yesterday, I almost forgot it. So we're going to do it before we go to this exercise. Remember, it's just, um, it is uh, necessary to keep your cameras on. Remember, say present when you hear your names. Okay, let's begin. Ada Marilu. 
Ada Marilu. No se conectó Ada. Alejandra Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Alejandra. Ana Ivania. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ana. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodríguez de Funes. Present. Thank you. Ana Yancy Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brian Alexis. Cristina del Carmen Calderón. Present. Thank you, Cristina. Daniel Alejandro Yáñez. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Diana Stephanie Cortez. Present. Thank you, Diana. Dina Esmeralda Ayala. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Jose Melgar. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Susana Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Francisco Daniel Peñate. Present teacher. Thank you. Iris Concepción Bernabé. Present teacher. Thank you. María del Carmen Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Carolina Mengíbar. Patricia Marroquín Mejía. Patricia Anmaris Marroquín. Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Ernesto Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Hilda Solórzano. Present. Thank you. Ruth Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Sandra Noemi Hernández. Present. Thank you. Vicente Israel Sánchez. Here, teacher. Thank you. And Jessica Rosibel Melara. Present. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, let me share again. Okay, we were doing the listening exercise. So let's see. Now, uh, we're going to complete this exercise. You have to check in the correct boxes. So you're going to check with the adjectives. Remember, big, interesting, expensive, and beautiful. So we're going to listen and, and you have to check what they mention about their hometown. So you got Joyce and Nicholas. Remember that if you have printed the material, you can work from there. Or if no, you can write your answers in your notebook. That should be fine as well. Page 74. Exercise four, listening, my hometown. Listen to Joyce and Nicholas talk about their hometowns. What do they say? Check the correct boxes. One. So tell me about your hometown, Joyce. Well, it's a really small town. What's it like there? Oh, I think it's boring. Really? Why? Well, there's nothing to do. No good restaurants, no nightlife. Oh, that's too bad. But small towns are pretty inexpensive to live in. Well, yeah, it is really cheap. And lots of people love it there because it's very pretty. Yeah? Uh-huh. It has great scenery. Lots of mountains and rivers, lakes and trees. Well, I don't know, Joyce. It sounds like a great place. Two. Do you come from a big city, Nicholas? Yeah, I guess. It's pretty big. So there's a lot to do there? Yeah, it's a really fun place. It has some cool art museums and great theaters and restaurants. Really? How are the prices? Is it expensive? I guess so. 
Food costs a lot in the supermarket and in restaurants. And apartments, the rents are very high. And what's it like there? What does it look like? Well, it's very clean, and it's really pretty, too. There are lots of parks and trees right in the center of the city. Did you get all the answers, or do you want to listen one more time? One more time, please. One more time. Okay, I'll play the recording again. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Page 74, exercise four, listening, my hometown. Listen to Joyce and Nicholas talk about their hometowns. What do they say? Check the correct boxes. One. So tell me about your hometown, Joyce. Well, it's a really small town. What's it like there? Oh, I think it's boring. Really? Why? Well, there's nothing to do. No good restaurants, no nightlife. Oh, that's too bad. But small towns are pretty inexpensive to live in. Well, yeah, it is really cheap. And lots of people love it there because it's very pretty. Yeah? Uh-huh. It has great scenery. Lots of mountains and rivers, lakes and trees. Well, I don't know, Joyce. It sounds like a great place. Two. Do you come from a big city, Nicholas? Yeah, I guess. It's pretty big. So there's a lot to do there? Yeah, it's a really fun place. It has some cool art museums and great theaters and restaurants. Really? How are the prices? Is it expensive? I guess so. Food costs a lot in the supermarket and in restaurants. And apartments, the rents are very high. And what's it like there? What does it look like? Well, it's very clean, and it's really pretty, too. There are lots of parks and trees right in the center of the city. Okay, Mr. Vicente, what does Jesse said about her hometown? Is it big? Uh, about Joyce. Uh-huh. Uh, no. No. It's small. It's a small. Okay. Jessica, is it interesting? Ana Silvia? Is it interesting? No. No. Okay. Ana Ivania, is it expensive? No. No. It's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. Okay, Ruth, is it beautiful? Yes. Yes. Okay, excellent job. So your answers are correct. So for you, I okay. see it would be no, 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 and yes, yeah, yeah. the last one. Okay, very good. Rafael Cruz, about Nicolas, is it big? Yes. Excellent, yes. Eduardo Jose, is it interesting? Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Maria del Carmen, is it expensive? Yes. Yes, excellent. Diana Stephanie, is it beautiful? Yes. Yes, correct. Excellent job. So all of them are yes. For Nicolas, Daniel, all correct answers? Good, excellent. All right. Now to yeah, continue no, this practice, no, no. we have a, a short paragraph a writing about an interesting place. It says, write about an interesting town or city for tourists to visit in your country. And we have an example to it. It says, Otavalo is a very interesting town in Ecuador. It's to the north of Quito. It has fantastic market and lots of tourists go there by local handicrafts. The scenery around Otavalo is very pretty and so you can continue the paragraph. So the exercise is to, um, to write a small thing about an interesting place here in El Salvador. If you write something about here or about a place in El Salvador, what would you choose? What place would you choose to write about? 
the cathedral. Oh, the cathedral, San Salvador Cathedral or Santa Ana? San Salvador. San Salvador Cathedral, okay. Yes. Sounds Santa good. <laughs> Any other time. idea? Another can be the La Palma Chalatenango. Oh, La Palma Chalatenango, okay. Oh, and then. Suchitoto? Suchitoto, other place. Ah, yes, it's a, it's a beautiful place. Nice, nice. Place. Uh huh. So, in your free time, you can do that as well. You can write a small paragraph and try to use uh, the conjunctions where we have studied. You can use and, but, though, okay? So, that's the exercise. And you can complete it in your notebook or uh, you can do it in the material, maybe aside somewhere there. And uh, yes, so then we have this snapshot. It's a, a vacation spot uh, about six popular cities and some site events there. Is the vocabulary clear here? So we have the first one. It's just, it's a um, Disney World in Orlando, Florida. They tour the friends in Paris, France. Uh, the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. The Gold Market in Dubai and the Arab Emirates. The Carnival in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Java Jazz Festival in Jakarta, Indonesia. So which of these would you like to go or, or visit and why? Um, it's an answer for us? Yes, it's, it's a personal uh so the exercise consists on check the places with, that would you you would like to visit or you've been to, or which one would you like to visit and why? That is the question, and it's like um, personal. For of all these places, I would like to I would like to visit the gold market in Dubai because I have heard a lot of things about Dubai. It's a very modern and rich city. And also I love jewelry. That's why I would like to visit that place. What about you? And Ivania? I visit Disney World. Oh, you visited Disney World. Okay. Yes. Was it nice? Beautiful. <laughs> what it's did you like the most? Place. Oh, yes. When did you go? Did you go in summer, December, Christmas? In the um, uh, near of Christmas. It's, oh. Uh, it's a uh, um, decoration. Uh, um, um, Navideño. <laughs> okay, the, the Christmas decoration. It's, exactly. Uh -huh, the Christmas decoration is yes, they chose, extremely beautiful. <laughs> yes, the shows are um, um, are uh, uh, is a exper uh, in inolvidable experience. <laughs> it's unforgettable. Forget unforgettable okay. experience. Okay. See. It's uh, okay. Pretty nice, excellent, good for you. Thank you so much for sharing, Anna. Rafael? Um, I like the visit the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. Why? For the, the Be culture and history. Oh, okay, you like culture and history? So that's a good reason. Mm -hmm. You can learn yes. more about culture in that place. Okay, good. Yeah, Any yeah. other volunteer? Yeah, for me, I would like to visit Disney World someday because I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. And oh. it seems like it's 
it, it's a very nice display. So I would like to go there. Uh, yes, especially in Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Daniel, tell us. Okay, I would like to visit a vacation or the other, um, other, other month of the year and in Dubai in Emirates, United Arab Emirates, because I like the culture, Arab culture, and I would like the, the market board. I like that. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you for sharing. Vicente. Yes, teacher. I would like to go to France to see the the Paris tour. Oh, the Tour de France? Tour de France, right. Uh, you like that cycling competition, that cycling event? <laughs> no, because uh, there are many uh, popular persons participating in, in that uh, event. Ah, famous people. You can meet many famous people there. No, oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good opportunity yeah, yeah. to meet famous people and also it's an interesting place to go. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. And I walk around the city too. All right, perfect. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, unfortunately, the time is over, but uh, we have shared many ideas and learn a little bit more every day. So um, we're gonna stop here and continue practicing tomorrow. See you tomorrow, same, same time, same link. Bye, take care. See you tomorrow. Take See care. care. Good, Good, night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow, Bye. please, tomorrow. At the next Bye. week. We don't, yes. don't have class. Yes, we do. Sí tenemos, a diferencia de en módulos pasados, es por, con el fin de cubrir el tiempo y salir el 20 de diciembre. Ah. Para lograr las 16 clases se van a estar teniendo los viernes también. Uh -huh. ah, Regularmente okay. son de lunes a jueves, pero para completar sus 16 clases vamos a estar haciendo viernes también para lograr salir en el tiempo estipulado, que es el 20. Y así pues ya tienen sus holidays tranquilos sin clases. <risa> Excelente. Okay, Thank see you. you tomorrow. Thank you. See you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.